um, Ashanti women in Ghana, which Ashanti is a tribe in Ghana, they used to handle most of the trade, right? So the husbands would go out and work and farms and all of that. But these, the, the women were effectively the front facing um, business people, right? Mm. And when the Victorians came, they said, this is not how it's done. Women stay at home and cook and we deal with the men of the house, right? And that was, there was that kind of sort of, uh, I suppose, ro ro role reversal that's embedded now in many West African society, well, many African societies that have ties to the British Empire and I suppose even the French ones. Um, I was, uh, I read it online about something about Priti Patel being a hypocrite about the migrants and the Rwanda policy because her parents, you know, came, mm. were immigrants into this country. Mm. And I wasn't even engaging with them, but I, I remember thinking to myself, even I know about the history of sort of the Ugandan government and India mean effectively expelling um, yeah, Ugandan Indians Indian out, of the, yeah. out of the country and the fact that a lot of them actually had British citizenship so they came to the UK and all of that. I mean, on social issues, because I often say that people from, um, I suppose, African and sub, uh, sub, um, the sub-Indian continent that have ties to the UK are a lot more socially conservative. And that actually was rooted back in the Victorian times, in the Victorian era. So before that, just as an example, right, um, Ashanti women in Ghana, which Ashanti is a tribe in Ghana, they used to handle most of the trade, right? So the husbands would go out and work and farms and all of that, but these, the, the women were effectively the front-facing um, business people, right? Mm. And when the Victorians came, they said, this is not how it's done. Women stay at home and cook, and we deal with the men of the house, right? And that was, there was that kind of sort of, uh, I suppose, ro ro role reversal that's embedded now in many West African society. well, many African societies that have ties to the British Empire, and I suppose even the French ones, um, that we don't talk about, right? Mm. So the arguments around sort of the disdain for modern feminist ideas or even conversations around homosexuality, they're actually very Victorian attitudes yes. that we didn't have before, before then. But they're, they're now, closed, exactly. Yeah. So it's, 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 very, it's very interesting. And I, I find it very fascinating that we don't even have these conversations because I often say, I'm a very liberal Ghanaian, but here I'm technically a conservative, which I find infuriating mm. because I just, I think it's actually not normal to be very right-wing or very left-wing on any particular issue. But I, I often say, you know, I wish I had these conversations when I was growing up, but I didn't because that's a remnant of sort of a Victorian attitude. I didn't even know about homosexuality until I was 14. And I found out about it, I was like, is that it? And I was like, people burnt Harry Potter books and all these books when I was a kid because of this. But you know what I mean? And it's like, we didn't have those conversations. And it's actually, it's to do with, it's, it's to do with the history of the country and the history of um, sort of colonialism. But I just wish we had those conversations and we can't. Do you know what I mean? So if you, if you grow up in a, a particular neighborhood, which has a particular demographic makeup mm. and a particular religious makeup and your community, your sense of community is effectively tied to that geographic location, you know, what exact, what apparatus or what tools can the state use to influence you to try and integrate that into British society and, and having British values? I, that's where I'm skeptical. And I think there's a lot of room for that because I think that is where, you know, Britain is lacking a little bit. How do you infiltrate these yeah. communities that are so, because there, I, I do think there's some communities that are very sort of tight knit, which yes. I don't think is necessarily a bad thing, but I think the British government has been very lazy in actually properly infiltrating those communities. And I, I, I think that's where there's the, the there's yeah. Infiltrating is quite a loaded word, but I know. you mean you know, engaging you know I mean? with them. Engaging right. with them, yeah. yeah. Well, infiltrate, yeah, because it like, kind of sounds closed off, doesn't it? But yeah, engaging with them in a productive in a productive way. But regardless way. of that, are you saying that there are some people who are just different? Or does it come back down no, to... No, I think it's culture. I think it's... I don't, think, some, issues, I don't think someone yeah. is just born incapable of, you know, seeing the next person as their brother but or sister. But there is something about certain some cultures, cultures yeah. uh, and the way people feel part of that community that yeah. is limiting. And yeah. I mean, I and I see where you're coming from, you know, yeah. I can identify with that. And for me, British culture, or growing up, you know, in Britain, being born in Britain, in an Indian household, mm. and which has many good aspects, but has limitations. Yeah. Just before you go, Byline TV started about two years ago to have the conversations that we aren't seeing elsewhere in the mainstream press and to investigate the stories that the established media don't want to touch. Now, we're a small but dedicated team. You know, we do it all on a shoestring String, but we really do love bringing you the content that we do, whether that's our live shows, it's our short form documentaries, or going behind the scenes with our Q&As and learning more from our producers about how you actually run a TV channel. So if you do like what we do, it's a really easy to support our work. Please just head over to byline.tv forward slash join, hit the join button, become a member and join us here in the Byline TV community. We can change the media, it's in our hands.